a bunch of shuds, orange shuds around everywhere. So it's just wilder. Now he's got the sand from the shoes. A lot of sand. Real sand. I don't know how they got the sand here, but real sand. Yes, it's quite a few. Here, here, water. Ah. Finish. I got sand in my shoes. I don't take it to the football court. This is one of the best football courts. This is the other best football court. I don't want that. It's just one bigger. Wait for the pool to get your water on you. I'm going to show you this is the slime I'm about to go on. Am I going to get wet? Hell yeah, I am. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be And I'm going to take you out to walk down. That's Dragon Ball Z! Dragon Ball Z! Ah.
ça. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, 
Thank <laughs> you. 
So you've been coming for 16 years? So I have been, I came here for 8 years, and then now I've been working for this is my 10th year. Wow. That might have been my own math. Uh, it's okay. It's tough to do with years and subtraction. Yeah. So uh, why do you think that people should start not coming here? I think um, there are a lot of awesome people.
God wants the best for us and has the best for us.
soccer practice, baseball practice, football game. All those things are cool and fun, but not this right here is like fun and golf is great. And God's power, God's love. Um, people that love Jesus are uh, like minded. Um, they not only they're not adding fire, they're not giving you fire. All they're doing is just pouring a little gasoline on the fire that's right there in your heart. And if you're not being reminded of who you are in Jesus, then they will remind you. And they'll remind you why you're alive, you know, and why you've been woken up. And then when you go back, you have something to, to go from and go back into. Um, so it's a great reminder. TBI is a great reminder for the day of why they're alive and why they should, why they or why they were born into this world. To walk for Jesus and love him with all that they are. Light, the shining bright light. Yeah. Okay, um, last question. Yeah. Um, what have you gained so far from being a Christian? Man, um, I, I've gotten a, a, a deep revelation of the cross. Every time I get, I come to the Father, He just gives me a deeper revelation of why I'm through the cross. And, and it gives me a better perspective of life. It gives me a sharper vision. I hear His voice a little clearer. Um, it's, it's just a, a better place for me. I just I disconnect too. Um, I'm disconnected. It, you know, back home I do it on my own, but here I get to do it all day long. I don't have to work. I don't have to worry about going to work. I mean, not worry, but you know, I don't have to like focus on doing like little tasks and having to multitask. I can have a single just perspective and that's this place and just be submerged myself into the presence of God without thinking, oh man, I gotta in an hour I gotta do this or that. You know? So, yeah, this is, a, this is a blessing. I feel like I'm more blessed than the kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, before I interview you, got anything else you want to say? Yeah, Red King, first of all, you're awesome. I love you, dude. I love your heart. Man. Um, and I tell you that if there's kids that are dealing with depression, like scourge, man, and all that stuff, you got to get to know the Father. He says that this is John 17, 3 says, this is eternal life. That you may know the Father and the Son who he, whom he sent. The one and true God who, you know, the Father is the one and true God. And, and discouragement, depression, the reason it comes is because sometimes we're making other things God. You know, whether it's what people think about us or what, you know, family issues, this and that. And we have to cut all those gods, these trees down and burn them in the fire and say never again. And, and, and give our life to Jesus completely, saying it's not about nothing else. And it takes away discouragement and depression. I've been there because I almost took my life as a as a believer, born again. It didn't mean that I didn't love Jesus. It just meant that, or it, it, it didn't mean that I didn't. I just didn't understand how deep His love was. I didn't understand how deep His love for me was. I didn't understand well, who that made me to be in His presence. So I would say, get along with God and, and throw all that junk away. Whatever it is, whatever thoughts, just set them aside. And just love and say, God, I need you to speak to me. And it's Father's great pleasure to just speak. We are part of this thing because in fact we are the church you know so so um yeah that, i would say be encouraged because there, there, if you're in christ there is no bad days you've been made alive and you've been made whole already by his stripes you've been taken care of you've been set free from bondage of sin and death um it doesn't mean that you can't make a mistake it just means that you can lift the father and be affirmed in his presence and he, he can lift you up and remind you where you sit and where you are Come on, Andy.